Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me Dave the Beer Dad back again to do another beer review. Going to do a beer from, from a new brewery for me. It's the first of their beers I've tried and it's Twisted Wheel Brew Co. And they are out of Standish Hall Farm um, in Standish which is in Wigan. So it's not that far from where I am at the moment. And this is their Soul City New England IPA. This weighs in at 6.5%, as it says so on the bottom there. Um, best before the 10th of the 6th, 21. And it cost me £2.75 pence out of Barton's in Ashton Makefield on Bolton Road. It says Soul City, uh, New England IPA, named after uh, music journalist Dave Godden's Covent Garden record shop, where the phrase Northern Soul was coined. This beer is unfiltered, unfined, unbelievably good. Always store cold and drink fresh. The malts are ultra pale malt notes. And the hops are Citra and Equinot. The visual gravity is um, 1060.7. The IBU is 60 and the ABV, I would say, is 6.5. Um, I think it looks it's vegan friendly. Um, twistedwheelbrew.co.uk I'll put a link to the website below it's this chair stops for me to sort it out um, I'll put a link to the website below where you can pick up some of their gear um, I've, got, I've got a series I've got, I've got two or three I've got a double IPA and I've got a stout which I'll try I might get through today I don't know yet I haven't, I haven't decided whether I want to do a load or just have a few so anyway let's crack on with this let's pop it top and let's see what we've got with this one So I'll put that in in a moment. Beer in a glass. What have we got? Very hazy, bright orange beer. We've got two fingers of white, slightly off-white, rugged, soapy head. No floaters in it. It actually looks really nice. Looks very juicy. So let's get a nose. Let's see what we can smell. Let's go for it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That smells quite nice. There's um, there's orange peel, there's zest, there's a little bit of tropical fruit going on, um, mango, papaya, that type of stuff. Certainly, I say grapefruit, grapefruit peel. Smells okay. Smells okay. Let's go for it. Body and carbonation. Cheers. Body's quite light. Uh, carbonation is, is again is light, almost soft. Uh, that's not bad actually. That's not a bad little mouthfeel. Right. Let's go for the big taste. Cheers. That is okay. That is okay. In fact, that's very good. It's all... All the flavours work together. It's all fruity. It's juicy. It's what you'd expect from a New England IPA. Nothing bursts out. Nothing punches you in the face and says, here I am, hello, hi, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> it just works well. It starts off with a little bit of a little bit sweet sort of mango-y thing going on. Um, that then kind of transfers into it into this grapefruit you then get a little bit of little bit of peel a bit of zest Probably there's, a, there's a bit of orange there's a little bit of lemon to it as well it's a really light dry feeling right at the back of me back of my palate right at the back of my mouth it's actually quite nice 6.5 is is well 6.5 yeah 6.5 is well hidden i am um, It's very easy to drink. Very easy to drink. In fact, it's dangerously easy to drink. Um, it doesn't taste like a 6.5% beer. Um, it's yeah, that's a that's it's really nice. It's 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 growing on me. It is really nice. And for two pounds seventy five for a 6.5% beer, that's cheaper than some of the stuff you can get in the supermarkets. 
just say it. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. The flavours, the flavours do fade quite quickly, but it does leave this, I'll say this light dryness at the back of your throat. Which is not which is not bad at all. But I like that. I like that. Don't love it, but I like it. And but for the price, I think it's really well done. I've had worse beers that cost twice as much, if I'm being truthful. And that's I say it's 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 okay, it's good. It's okay, it's good, it's not bad. Come on, make a decision, David. It's good. There's the decision. Uh, do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Yes. I, I really would. I think it's a nice, it's a nice fridge filler. Excuse me. This is a beer. Again, watching football, watching sports, watching a movie, bag of crisps, bag of popcorn. This would be this would be nice. Goes down far too quickly. I mean, even for me. That goes down far too quickly. It's very tasty. I'd say the flick, it's building up and the, the dryness is nice and subtle. Yeah, it's a good beer. It's a good beer. Yes, there are better ones in the market. Yes, there are certainly worse ones on the market. But like I say, for £2.75, for 6.5% beer in a 440 can, I don't think you can argue. <coughs> so, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. Um, if you like the review, please give me the thumbs up. If you don't, give me the thumbs down. Subscribe down there if you're watching for the first time. If you have subscribed to me in the last couple of days, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, if you find this, give it a crack. I'll put the website. You can buy the stuff on the website. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay late and stay safe. Here you go.